Okay. Um, okay, read that one, pause the video, take a vote. Correct answer is A. Both were uh, both were going the same vertical velocity, but the one that was thrown has a horizontal and vertical. So when I say overall, that is the combination of horizontal and vertical. All right. So throwing a ball off of a 10 meter tall tower again. We draw our <clears throat> diagram. Okay. Here's my initial, here's my final. All right, I want you to fill out this chart. List all the variables that you know. Okay, let's see how you did. How do I do? This one right here, this is the one that most people stumble on, and if you stumble on it, it's going to be a rough day for you. You know your initial vertical velocity is zero because it was thrown horizontally. Okay, It's not moving up or down right at the beginning. It's just going horizontal. So your initial vertical velocity is zero. Okay, how to do. Okay, all right. So we're looking for how fast it's going right here overall. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Here's the ball right before it hits the ground. It's moving horizontally and it's moving vertically right at the end. Once I figure out both of those, 
Then I can figure out the overall velocity by finding the resultant velocity. So see if you can figure out those two. Go. How are we doing? Getting there? So this one is just straight up six. No math required because the velocity is constant. Okay. This one, you need to do math. So we're going to use this equation. Okay. And I'm going to tweak that for the vertical. Okay. So I've got my... At zero plus two times negative nine point eight times a negative ten. One ninety six. Take the square root of both sides, and you find that to be fourteen. And because it is plus or minus, because it's going down, I'm going to make that negative. Okay. So I've got this is six meters a second. 
and this is 14 meters a second. To find the overall the resultant velocity, what am I going to do? I'm going to tell your neighbor what I should do. So go ahead and do that. You head to tail, cut and paste, resultant. is 15.2 here's a second okay so from the previous question uh, which one's going faster at the end the one that's thrown the one that's dropped both of them are going 14 meters a second vertically but the one that's thrown is going six meters a second horizontally. So overall, it's going to go 15.2 meters a second compared to 14 meters a second. Good. Conversation. Tell them why you think so. Correct answer is C. Correct answer is C. Same time. Does not matter how fast it's going horizontally. Vertically, it remains at rest. Or sorry, not remains. Starts at rest vertically. Now hit at the same time. Crazy. Okay. Last question.
Tell your neighbor. Correct answer is Correct answer is D. Dangerous dinosaurs. All those statements are true. None of them are false. Okay. The entire uh, during the entire flight, the minimum speed is initial velocity, original velocity. Yes, it speeds up as it falls. B, the acceleration is constant. Yes, negative 9.8 meters per second squared downward. The time it takes for the bullet to hit the ground increases as the bullet increases velocity. And we just said C. Okay. Needed to match the solenoid. Everything's hot. Let's do it. test fires had a bit of fine tuning it's good it's good it's one third of a millisecond difference wow that's freaking perfect let's go do this full scale okay which means rolling up the room 360 feet to stake out a drop zone right about there that's where they were landing out in the shooting range, so this is where I expect them to land here. Okay. Adam lays down a runway of white paper so the high-speed camera will clearly see and measure both bullets at the same time, in the same place, and in the same shot. All we need now in the drop zone is Jamie's drop rig so the boys can take a shot at physics history. All right, Jim, you ready to do this for real? I think we'll hit it on the first shot. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you never make predictions. That's awesome. Bullet drop versus fired. In three, two, one. But from 360 feet away, the boys can't see exactly where the fired bullet landed. Let's go see where it hit. So Adam takes a one-wheeled ride down the room to check out the drop zone. <laughs> wow. And the results are simply ripping. Can't get much closer than that. Oh, I can't wait to see the high speed. So, dude, this bullet carved a streak right under the drop zone. I think this might be... The shot we've been looking for. In real time, it's impossible to tell what happened. Until Adam analyzes the high speed and crunches the numbers. 3677 minus 3915 equals 238 divided by 6. <laughs> Dude, the difference is 39.6 milliseconds. Which means it's less than the human eye can make out. So after days of brain-teasing tests, the Mythbusters can claim a world first for themselves. And a victory for physics. Good deal. That's the physics show today, kids. Yeah.